Hey, welcome back to another week in the Wisdom Way Bible Reading Project. We're connecting scripture reading on a particular theme each week in the book of Proverbs and the way portion of our reading. And this coming week's reading, that is Saturday the 14th through May, Friday the 20th, is speech. And what we want to do this particular week, I'm encouraging you to pray in a particular way toward the end of the week with the different days of the week's readings in mind, begin to form what I call a step prayer. Well, what is a step prayer? Well, we want to make steps forward in progress in our faith all the time on every front. We want to grow more spiritually mature, and we may focus on a particular aspect of our life, like how we use our tongue, what we do with our words. Is there real forward progress? If so, how would you know it? How could you measure it? What metric might you use? Here's a way to go about it. As you do each day's reading this week, take particular note of the circumstances, the context, the situations that are described in each of the readings. And as you build that list toward the latter part of the week, begin to rank those matters in terms of difficulty. For example, you may have noted that, well, it seems here that someone may have said something nice to you, and they mean it sincerely. And so it's easy for you to offer a kind word in return. Their words were pleasant to you. It was like a honeycomb. It was very sweet to you. And so it's easy for you to share that sweetness and give a, a bit of pleasantness back to them. Surely that's something like an entry-level matter when it comes to the use of our words. It's not hard at all to do. We would rank that as like a one. It's important. It's the bottom rung of a ladder. It gets us started. But we can easily imagine there are far more difficult scenarios in our life as to what will we do with our words. For example, as like this one in Proverbs 26, the words of a gossip are like choice morsels. Maybe somebody is gossiping about someone else in your presence. And what will you say about that? Or should you say anything at all? Might the best thing that you do would be to hold your speech, to be silent. Might it be wrong to do that? Maybe the imperative is for you to speak up in defense of the other person, or even to offer correction or admonition to the one who's in, engaging in this evil of gossip. Well, you can easily see what I'm talking about here now. There are some matters of our speech that are far more difficult than others. What number or rank would you assign to this one, this scenario of gossip? Well, it's not about a, about a matter of getting the correct ranking on all this list that you've made that everyone could agree on. The point is, is to recognize that there are different degrees or levels of our speech. And that gets us thinking about, are we making forward progress with our faith? Is the metric reasonable? Is it something we can use to measure our maturity and help spur us onward, give us more motivation to truly move forward in growth with the Lord? That's exactly what we want to do when we read Scripture. We want it to segue over into prayer. For when these two things are joined together, the word of the Lord to us and our words back to the Lord, then we're in a position to make some real progress. A step prayer can help you in that because it's about praying about a very specific matter in a sequential and in an ascending way. May grace and peace be with us all, especially in terms of our words, and not just for the coming week.